Okay, so this is a this is a short video to demonstrate the uh, simplistic operation of the uh, Wilson Harness BH3000 Brunel Harness Tester. Um, just giving you an idea of what the system looks like. Um, this particular instrument has eight selectable uh, Brunel scales um, that you can test in at any given time. The system ranges uh, from 187.5 kilograms all the way up to 3,000 kilograms of force. Um, to take a test, it's very easy to do. Um, what you can do is, let me see here, just giving you an idea what the front panel looks like. You can take and just simply, if you want to test in a particular scale, you press the scale icon. And you see here, those are eight selectable uh, Brunel scales. We'll go up to the most common HP 10, 10 millimeter ball, 3,000 kilograms of force. Press OK. Right? Um, and then you might want to just adjust the time cycle if you want to test in a particular time setting. Press the, press the setup key. Scroll down to force. Press OK. And you might want to have it defaulted to the fastest time, time cycle that you can test in in accordance to. ASTM E10 testing standard, so 3 second application time, 10 second dwell time, final force application, and just press OK. And followed by escape, you get back to the home screen. Okay, so you're all set. Make sure that you have the right indenter in place. In this case, there's our 10 millimeter ball. Hopefully, you can see it. Put your sample in place. In this case, I'm just going to use a test block to demonstrate the. Uh, testing process. So just put the test block in place. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a, this item here is actually a specimen clamping fixture. So it keeps you, it prevents your part from shifting during the test. Um, you know, make sure that your your part doesn't move and have any compliance during the test. We we clamp the specimen um, in place to ensure proper results. So what you can do now is using the uh, the elevating unit here the, the hand wheel. You simply raise, raise the, uh, raise the part up in the position. Bring it up close. Clamping. Notice the specimen is is now clamped, but the indenter is not touching. And as soon as you you get to that point, you can press the, the start key. The test area is free and ready to go. And we're now taking a test. You can see that the force is being applied. Going through the dwell time, trying to hold the phone camera steady. Unloading. And now your specimen can be removed from the from the machine. You would then take that part and using you know a Brunel. Uh, deep reading microscope, or you know, uh, uh, maybe a King Scan automatic software measurement uh, system. You could then um, obtain your measurements. So I happen to know, just, just to show you that you admit you would manually measure your your indentation diagonals using a Brunel microscope. And you just incorporate your D1 and D2, diagonal 1, diagonal 2, and then you just simply press OK, and you observe your hardness result right here on the screen. It's very easy to do, um, very simplistic in design, very intuitive handset, um, so you do a lot of different things, um, and you can, you, can, you can just continue going on. So, you can see now we're ready to, you know, make another test. You press start again. You would make another indentation, and then you could enter the diagonals. You can also back out, and you know, there's there's other there's other things that you can do. You know, you can set tolerances, minimum, maximum values, um, change the language. So, you, know, you can see here it's available in English, Chinese, and, and German. And adjusting the, you know, the contrast of the screen and. It's very, very easy, very easy uh, user interface for for anybody. 
Um, very intuitive. So. Okay, um, so that's that's the equipment. Very quick operation. And uh, thank you.